in information communication technology students. Therefore, the course outline reads as follows. Before we have the, uh, we need to have the structure of the HTML. Then uh, uh, we shall have the tags, HTML tags. Then we shall also check on insert objects in HTML. When we talk about objects, we shall be inserting video, we shall be inserting audio and uh, photos. Then uh, we shall also be inserting hyperlinks. That is, uh, for the hyperlinks, we shall have the web page hyperlink, email hyperlink, URL hyperlink. Um, then uh, we shall also uh, do the tables, frames, and uh, forms. Therefore, to, to start with, we need to uh, know the editors. We need to know what we need. Therefore, for you to start uh, using HTML, the first thing you need to do is to open a folder. Therefore, just go to File, New, then uh, File, New, we open a folder. Once we create a folder, we can uh, have a sample, like we can call, uh, you can just call it my TVET my tvet that way that is the folder then you double click this folder you need to have installed a notepad reader that is a text reader or a text editor for instance you can just use notepad therefore you can right click then go to new then uh, we just go to where notepad is this is our text document therefore we open that one then we can just double click our, our text editor if you can see our text editor, our text editor is a notepad. You can also use better notepads like notepad, plus plus, sublime text, etc. But there is no big issue on the text editor you're using. Therefore, uh, from this point, we can start using Microsoft Notepad. But as we progress, we may install notepad, plus plus. Therefore, we start by looking at the structure of HTML uh, document. Therefore, HTML document uh, starts with the angle brackets. Then uh, you type, you instruct the the note that is the compiler that uh, our document type. Our document type is HTML. Now, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and uh, so far. Uh, we are using HTML5, that is the series that is uh, trading now. Therefore, once you write that, you are instructing the your compiler that uh, uh, you are actually uh, starting HTML. Then you have to write HTML. Then uh, you can write, type the head, that is the head. As time goes by, you see where the head goes. Then uh, inside the head, it can have the title the title tag and wherever you open uh, whatever you write inside the angle brackets that is the greater and uh, less than is called a tag and therefore we are actually uh, creating the tags that is um, and whatever you open a tag you must cross the tag therefore we are crossing the tag there and therefore we have also to cross the head because we opened uh, we opened the head Therefore, basically, you can uh, uh, try to see that uh, we have um, we have opened HTML tag also. Therefore, we have also to cross the HTML. Yeah, that is HTML. Uh, though this one should be somewhere down because we shall uh, be writing uh, some content. Then, once you cross the body here, uh, you, you cross the head, you have to open the body. The body this is where your content goes therefore you can have the body and therefore that means you have also to to cross the body if we shall also cross uh, the body that way then we need to save this document of ours with an extension of dot html uh, html or htm that we just go to fire then save us now remember we have a, a folder located in our desktop in inside my tvet uh, called um, 
my tvet and therefore you receive your document there you can just call it my first site dot html now once you do that down here you choose all files uh, don't forget this because you shall open this in a browser then you click on save now if i minimize this one if i just minimize this one then I go to our folder my tvet you will get um, a browser therefore you can see we, we have created like a website uh, we have now saved it as html and therefore this means that now i can right click this then open this one uh, using a browser yes i prefer using google chrome therefore let's uh, open with google chrome and therefore let's see how our site develops therefore our site will be now running here we just need to minimize this one then continue with our um, with our typing let's just go to our uh, our notepad and continue typing therefore this is where we are basically that's how uh, HTML structure looks like therefore from our syllabus that we are following uh, the first objective is to make sure that we understand the we understand the the structure of HTML and therefore that is the structure of HTML now inside this structure here we might have the title uh, the title when you open the browser, you will get whatever you write in the title as the title at the topmost part. And therefore, we can just uh, write this one that as um, we can call it my Tibet Technical tr uh, Training College Institute. Institute. That way. That is MTTI. That is our title. Then you just click on save. This time around we don't use save us. Then uh, we can carry on. Head. Now head. Remember this head. Whatever you write here uh, should be is crossed here. You can also write now the head after the head or just after the title here. Therefore this one we can just type our head. Our head is welcome. Uh, welcome to my Tibet Technical Training Institute. Institute. Therefore, now that's how we, we have now gone so far. You just click on File Save. Now, for you to see what you are doing, you go back to the browser we have crossed. Now we have opened down here. Therefore, you just go and uh, minimize this. Then go to our browser. Our browser here. Now, having our browser this way, this button is called refresh, therefore you refresh. Now, see what we have so far. Whatever you have written as the title, my Tibet comes at the topmost as the title. Then, whatever we type as the head becomes the first sentence inside our browser. Therefore, let's continue doing that as uh, uh, we, we do it together. Therefore, let's go back to our notepad as we still run HTML. Therefore, uh, if we want to write some things being formatted inside here we use tags and therefore it is also important uh, how we look at the tags uh, that is we look at the tags that uh, are basically used now when you talk about tags these are the tags we are talking of these tags now tags are commands they are the html commands we call them tags these are the HTML commands and therefore we have several tags. Tags are written inside the angle brackets. For example, if I want to borrow the sentence, I just write B. But I have, whenever I open a tag, I have to cross the tag that way. Then I write my stuff inside here. For example, I want it to have a TTI. That one, I want it to be borrowed. Therefore, you write tags inside there. Uh, you write your stuff inside the tags therefore that is for board if i want to underline then i can uh, uh, use the underline tag u then i write uh, my tibet that way then i cross you have to cross the tag u that way therefore whatever is written inside here must already be affected by the by the tag but if you or forget to cross then everything will be uh, will be affected like now when you want to start a paragraph uh, you write a p 
then you type your stuff uh, this is my page then you cross the paragraph uh, slash p that way therefore these are how tags are written okay to run all the tags though i will be doing a lot with the tags as we run together uh, just uh, go below the description of this video you will get a link to my website where you will get all the tags that is the or the html tags because even if we do a website you can never use 100 percent all the tags you just use several tags therefore for more tags uh, just go to the site uh, below there therefore if we want now to uh, start uh, practicing on the tags like now we want to type a, a heading therefore you just uh, create you want to start by making it bold you can either use the word strong or bold strong then we want our heading to be bold then strong then for example you can start uh, by saying that please that is uh, our mission our mission then we can still use uh, board now b it will bring the same thing uh, that is then our our vision our vision that way then we cross the tag b that way the first see what we have so far you can press ctrl s on your keyboard then go back to uh, our browser our browser is here you open our browser then this is what you have so far you just reload therefore you can see what we have done our mission our vision it is borrowed because you have now used the tag now we want to push this one to here we use a tag called break break takes a sentence to the next line. and therefore here i want this one to go to the next line. therefore we can start by putting the break tag break you can put it that way or just write it uh, in the ancient way break and therefore you're also breaking that way. and it's also important uh, to cross the black uh, we can cross the black there then also here we can also uh, cross the break that way then we save now once we save uh, we go back to our browser here and then refresh you see what has happened uh, this one has been brought to uh, our next line therefore let's uh, go on together then uh, we also need to uh, to go on and on running on these tags now in case I want to start to write a paragraph like now uh, we need this one to be bigger our mission to be bigger or even our heading to be bigger here you introduce a code called heading one you can use h1 h2 h3 they mean heading one heading two heading three and heading one is the largest heading two for us heading three is smallest so as you reduce the number they reduce the size and therefore we can write h1 heading one now we want all these two to be bigger uh, therefore you just go there and write heading one therefore we have agreed wherever you open a tag you must cross the tag and therefore that's exactly what i'm doing therefore if i go back to now my browse my website i refresh you see what has happened heading one has been applied that is bigger font size uh, that is exactly what now yeah we are actually uh, doing then we can still carry on we can carry on this one and uh, run more and more now in case uh, for example i want to reduce this one you can just now use heading three instead of heading one heading one you have seen it so big therefore you can have heading three that way then go back to our browser our browser that way refresh you can press f5 on your keyboard therefore you can see now this one therefore you can just go ahead and uh, uh, write a sentence of that is a sentence of our mission just do it in the notepad and therefore should be here that uh, our mission is to is to shape young men 
and women to get all practical skills available. Then uh, our vision is to to be a reading institution institution in technical in technical knowledge that way that's just an example therefore after now having that we just go again to our website and refresh you see now what we have happened but now we don't want this to be bold this one we cannot even change the color if we just go back to your notepad, then uh, make sure that uh, this statement from here is outside the word strong up to this point. You cut, then paste it outside. We want it to be outside there and also be color red. Therefore, you shall introduce another tag called font. And therefore, you can write font, font color. We don't use N, use American style. Therefore, our font color equals to you uh, right now orange. Can use red. Right here. Then we have to cross font. You can cross font here at the end of the sentence. We cross uh, font. That way, then we also do the same here. We remove this one outside the B. We don't want it to be bought. Then we can cross our font, slash font. Then we come at this point here and then assign font. Font color equals to, equals to red or we can use green. That we then control S, we save, go back to our browser, and then refresh. Now see what is happening. Uh, that one now turns red, the other one uh, turns green, just like we are doing it. Then now uh, we proceed. We proceed with our tagging. Then uh, about the institution, you can type something about the institution down here by, type, uh, by typing a paragraph, P. You type P. Now it is important to type the opening tag and the closing tag together so that you cannot get confused or forget that way. Therefore, your statement now goes here that um, our institution our institution is located located in Neer County. Counties Central Region Region on Nyeri or Nyeri Nanyuki Highway. That way. Then you save. You go and see what you are doing by refreshing. You see now our uh, it's located. Therefore, we we shall be using these uh, kind of examples to uh, have more and more tags. Therefore, as you have agreed, you cannot run all the tags at once. Therefore, uh, go down to my description, hit that uh, link on tags html tags you'll be in a position to see all the tags and uh, practice them so for basically that's how you key in the the tags then it's also important uh, we look at comments uh, you can have something called comments now instead of tags comments now a comment a comment in programming it uh, refers to non-executable code uh, for instance i may need to instruct the person who will come after me editing that website on various tags like P. Now I want to tell the person that uh, P, uh, P is tag for paragraph. Therefore, 
P is a tag for paragraph. You want to notify somebody that. And therefore, what you need to do is to write a comment. You write a comment in HTML. And to add a comment uh, that is in HTML, this is how you go about it. Uh, you write the angle bracket that way. Then inside the angle bracket, you put an exclamation mark and then two dashes. Uh, two dashes that way. Then, uh, like now, this comment of ours, we, we need this one to be commented. It will not be read. It will not be executed. Therefore, it goes here. It goes here. That way. Now let's reduce the size for, for it to appear exactly the way I want it to be. That way. Therefore, this is how our, tags, our comment looks like. Then you put two minus sign. That way. Therefore, if I copy this code, there it looks like it will just be inside my text area that is my text box or my notepad plus plus or my notepad but it will not be executed it will not appear in the browser the browser will just uh, ignore it therefore let's see uh, whether that one works now for example p where is our p our p is here therefore you need to comment that that way that uh, we want to comment that uh, our that is p this is called here you have used here uh, is a tag for paragraph and therefore after now doing so this one will not be read it will just be there as a, a notification therefore you can save that one then go to a browser you notice it will not actually affect you see now it cannot appear because it is a comment, it is non executable statement just there inside the code to notify the programmer on various uh, that is on various uh, issues that you want uh, highlighted inside there. Therefore, you can still go ahead and uh, look at various other tag, uh, tags. Like, for example, uh, I want us to have a list of courses that we offer. Uh, outside here, therefore, you can still uh, start by having heading one uh, or heading three. Heading three, then we have agreed we cross, we open and cross the term heading three. Then we need to have courses offered, courses offered, courses offered in MTTI in MTTI therefore these courses that we offer here we need to list them one two three downwards or use bullets therefore we also need to break to uh, make sure that they start from our next train uh, train uh, train yourself to use small letters therefore break now we go on and on checking what uh, we are supposed to uh, to to see what we are doing therefore you can see courses offered now we want our courses offered to be listed in, uh, in a way downwards. So we introduce something called um, a list, uh, that is lists. Therefore we shall be looking at lists. And lists, we have ordered lists. We have a tag for ordered list that way. And also uh, we have uh, another tag for an ordered list that we the first shall be using these two uh, commands now inside this one we use some list command that way then this one will be in a position to list what we want list therefore we are, we are listing this is these are the the tags therefore let's practice on how to use those tags and now uh, we go back to our notepad then uh, we, we start here therefore what you do you start by uh, giving the browser or the the script an order, uh, an, a, a, a command that you are using an ordered list of type. You can have the type type. Now our type you can just uh, write as uh, circle. That way you can give circle square. Etc. Then from here we just go to 
resting them rest and uh, then our first course can be diploma in in information communication technology into bracket into bracket ICT DICT that way then uh, we can carry on right and the next course the next course for example the offering is uh, diploma in uh, clothing technology then we have another course we are offering also we are offering diploma in in formation technology to bracket IT that way therefore after now having this then we can save control s uh, we can just go now to our browser and see what we have then you just go to your browser and refresh now see what we have therefore our our courses has been listed courses offered diploma in this a diploma in the other one therefore you can use the list the that is the, the list tag that is angle bracket ri cross the angle bracket the list the list uh, is actually very important it can be used to list items just uh, like uh, you have seen uh, therefore you can also down here look at the the unordered list just down here then you can we can go to this point and then say i was showing you how to use this one then we can cross the ordered list the ordered list uh, slash where now we are crossing it there then I want us to write a, com a comment. Remember, a comment will not be executed. Uh, will not be executed. Therefore, our comment is next is tag. We don't call them code. We call them tag. Next is tag for an ordered wrist you air that way. Then you put those two minus sign. Now that one will not be read, but you can see it is helping you to know what is actually next but inside the browser therefore this one is introduced using uh, ur that way you can also you introduce that one using uh, that is cross it using ur then uh, what you need to have is that um, just like an ordered list we use re arrow e inside here just like you have seen this one we have started this way and crossed uh, uh, using the or therefore here we shall use an ordered list and also cross with an ordered list therefore just here after this one we can have our heading our heading our heading uh, two our heading two here if we can have our heading two our heading two uh, this one is other courses related to food and beverages then we shall now have them listed here therefore we shall have free per i therefore we have catering catering then we can have uh, front office management then you can also have another one you can have um, mm, after catering you can house house housekeeping that way therefore after having that let's see what we have in the an order at least control s you save that one then you go back to your browser and then open then refresh therefore uh, see what we have now this is we have used the ordered list and uh, the unordered list therefore you can see the difference uh, between the two though um, in most cases you just use them interchangeably you just uh, change them interchangeably you can uh, uh, 
do this, you can do the other one, uh, that way, that way, that way. Uh, on the other hand, uh, when we, we go on uh, the same note, on this one, you can remove this and see how it looks like. You can just remove this one and leave it that way, or 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 this way. Therefore, just like you have done the other one, then control S. You can still see uh, the difference uh, between the two. If you can notice, uh, you can see probably there is no much difference on whatever you have done. Only that this uses numbers, this one uses bullets and uh, uh, other types of bullets. Therefore, basically, that, that's how you uh, assign that one. Then, let's see the color, the, color, the background color. We look at the back uh, background background color tag. Therefore, background color tag. Now, the background color tag we just write BG color, BG color. Then you give the color equals to you give the color like now green that way. Therefore, this one will give you a, your site or the background, the color. And therefore, let's practice on that one. Just go to this part here. Then, where we introduced the body, we write it inside the body tag. Therefore, just go to this one. And it is also important to uh, arrange your site in an increment, in an increment manner that way for the purposes. If that way, it can be very nice when. Uh, you just tab them you make your work more organized that way therefore you can see now our work is somehow beautiful even to lead therefore yeah you can just do it that way you can make your your work in cream therefore uh, uh, just where the body is you add body bg so it should be small bg cara that way then you give the cara uh, i am giving the cara orange that way therefore once you do that um once you do that uh, you can now refresh and see what we have therefore always remember to make your work organized that is in in current somehow for readability purposes. That way, therefore, this is how our site now looks like. Then now uh, we can just save this one um, by then go to our browser and refresh. We refresh our browser. Therefore, you can see you can see that. Uh, our site is now even more attractive by assigning it the background color by use of uh, HTML. Therefore, let's make this uh, heading of ours movable by using a HTML tag. Therefore, that one I'll introduce you to a HTML tag called MarQ. MarQ. MarQ means move around, uh, that is in web design. And therefore, you just write MarQ, MarQ, depending on how you read it, MarQ. Then you type your your statement that you want uh, mobile here. The statement you want to move around the screen is written uh, inside the the MarQ tag. That way. therefore, I want the word like mobile to move. Therefore, let's go to our heading. We shall just go to where the heading is. Our heading is here. We need our heading to be big. Therefore, we shall put it heading one. Uh, heading one. Then we close it. Uh, heading one that way. Then don't forget there is no one here. One. Then you can put several tags together, provided they are crossed. Like now, we want mark you. Mark you. And also we can cross mark you here. Mark you is to move. We can cross this one. Mark you. Then control S, you save that one. 
Now once you save, you just go to uh, your stuff and um, refresh. Therefore, once you refresh, uh, the, the statement should actually scroll around here. Therefore, you can see it is actually scrolling. Therefore, our site will be like that. Now, and very big, in fact. Welcome to Tibet, to my Tibet Technical uh, Training Institute. That way. And therefore, you can see now that one is actually uh, working well. That is MarQ. You can just introduce that uh, code there, that code for uh, for MarQ. Then uh, I have also taken you through the headings, the uh, how to write paragraphs, and how to use the tags. Therefore, it is now upon you to go down there in the description, uh, hit my website, and uh, run more tags. Uh, more and more tags will actually. Uh, be appearing as we go on on and on therefore the next thing uh, let's uh, look at how to uh, insert how to insert images right now we can insert our logo we may need to have our logo somewhere there therefore first of all is to make sure that uh, you have your your logo or picture available then uh, once you do that once you ensure you have a picture that you can use, then uh, you can uh, have uh, have it inserted. Therefore, for instance, you can just check whether we have a photo. Unfortunately, we don't have. Therefore, just draw our row. Use the open paint. Then uh, we can draw a small logo. A small logo of us here that we have my GTI then you can enlarge this one my GTI then um, you can have that my GTI that way then um, to have that one as our logo then we just go to file save us as jpeg it will be saved inside our folder that is our folder is uh, on our desktop and it is called my tti therefore just save it as logo logo our logo save now once you save you can open um, our folder then we open this logo of ours open with um, we need to to see how it looks like okay let's insert the it is if I just go to your code now you want to insert our uh, our image and therefore to insert an image to insert an image you use the image source tag right now i want to insert it just um, before before the heading here therefore i write you have agreed all the tags are used uh, inserted inside the angle bracket therefore this is the tag to insert image image source equals to image source ours uh, equals to you have correct logo It is rogo dot jpg that is jpeg that is our rogo therefore for you to insert an image you write this tag image source then you put your url here that is the address of where you are uh, where your document that is your picture is therefore we can just try to see whether we can get that one then you refresh therefore you can see we have inserted our logo only that it is too big so we need to reduce this one you can see now it is actually inserted but it is too big therefore you just need to uh, scale that one uh, here you scale by width by writing the width the, the length 
rank, rank, rank. That is the rank. Rank equals to, like you now you can have 85. You can have 85 here. Our rank is 85. Width equals to 85 again. Let's see how so far that looks like. Control S, save, then refresh. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you can see now at least the size has reduced. Um, therefore, you have inserted a picture here, but uh, at least the size is uh, somehow, um, it is actually somehow manageable. Therefore, this is how now you insert an image uh, that is inside the the HTML document. Then. Uh, we can also look at how carry on and uh, now inside an audio here therefore we first of all uh, type uh, paragraph so we have a paragraph there that the that uh, please listen to the following audio music then we can close the paragraph that way and also then from here we need to put the code now this is the code for audio this is the code uh, to insert the audio the code starts here therefore this is the code this one uh, get the code below the description that is uh, below this video there is a link also in my website there is the this code now the code is reading an mp3 code one dot mp3 therefore first first of all you copy and paste audio files uh, inside um, that is inside our folder therefore if you go to our folder this is our folder you notice that uh, there is an mp3 song I have copied. I have copied an mp3 song called one. You can see it is one dot mp3. Uh, that is women of faith. Therefore, uh, what I have done after naming that, the code is reading this code of ours is reading the source. The source, the source is inside our folder, and I have copied the file as one dot mp3 therefore that's why you can see the 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 uh, the code is reading one therefore don't ask where the one is coming from it is a music copied in that folder then when you now go to this one uh, and refresh you notice that um, we have please listen to the following audio and therefore you can now play, play the audio you can even now stop the audio you can uh, reduce the volume you can mute the the uh, the music that way. therefore that's how you insert uh, music inside the html let's insert a video now to insert a video uh, you use the code uh, the code that i type just there Therefore, let's type the code for inserting a video, and therefore, you can just start another paragraph. Another paragraph, you also need to cross the above paragraph here. P. Therefore, we I just say that watch, watch the following video, then you can cross a paragraph slash p then our paragraph our code goes here therefore we type our code now our code uh, is as follows you can still get it in yeah, in my website and also below this video's description therefore you shall go video video with uh, 
can give the video width width of the video is 320 pixels then height height of the video the height of the video can be 250 pixels then uh, uh, after this you write controls then the source the source the source of the video uh, equals to okay, we shall give the name of the video dot m mp4 mp4 dot mp4 we shall type the the code the or there type equals to video video slash that format now in case it is not supported then the browser will give this main error message that uh, the browser does not support this video formats then you cross the video tag therefore you now need to go and uh, paste a video inside your folder then you bring it here therefore let's do that let's go to our folder um, I divide there are several videos like now we can you have this one we rename this one to a shorter name like we can call it a PMT therefore we shall insert this video remember it is inside our Tibet and therefore we just go to where notepad is and then we insert PMT PMT.mp4 that is the the name of our video then we save after saving we go to our browser and then uh, refresh refresh that one therefore you see now when I refresh watch the following video therefore let's uh, make sure the video is of mp4 format and therefore our video will be played here therefore let's just uh, ensure that our video our video is of that format mp4 mp4 is of mp4 format pmt for us go to our code this is dot dot um, dot mp4 if it is dot dot mp4 that way then now you can save press refresh before us just go through the code to see where the mistake is for video with equals to 320 height uh, equals to that one then um, uh, controls then we have source equals to no this is the problem this one should be C that way that is the problem the source was wrong Therefore, we can now refresh by pressing F5 on our keyboard. See where the mistake is. There we are. Therefore, now we can run our video.
therefore you can see our video is running well uh, through the the HTML code um, and therefore that's how you you insert objects we have so far inserted our logo an image we have inserted the music we have also uh, inserted the the video uh, in that uh, part of the uh, that is that part of the our document therefore you can uh, go on and proceed and um, now insert hyperlinks now when you talk about a hyperlink a hyperlink is a bridge it is a link to another site and therefore for example if I have another site somewhere and I want to link uh, to that site then I need to uh, use a hyperlink and therefore when you talk about hyperlinks uh, you use the anchor uh, tag or a tag therefore use the anchor that is anchor a we use this code now uh, this tag a href then we give the href then we give the uh, the ur the url then we type something like downloads then we cross the we cross the the href therefore this is the tag for uh, doing that therefore for for example uh, we can ensure that if we have this page of ours this one and we need to link by click of a button like we can have a button here when I click that button it takes you to uh, another another website therefore that one uh, is a hyperlink where you want the hyperlink like now I want to have a hyperlink uh, you have just said a hyperlink a hyperlink you can just write a comment here that uh, a hyperlink Now hyperlink is a link to another to another site. Therefore, that is just a comment. It will not be executed. Now you want to write a, a, a hyperlink. We use the href. Like now, we write h a h a href. Uh, that is ahref then uh, equals to the address of the site then the statement go to another site that is the statement that will be clicked or clickable then a we hope we could we cross that one by an a if i see how that one uh, looks like we save that then go to our site and see whether it will have a hyperlink therefore you can see therefore this is a hyperlink go to another site for now it doesn't have where to go therefore we have to give uh, uh, that is to give to give uh, we shall give it a, a, an address to where it will go therefore the address uh, the address for us here let's go to this part our address will be it will go to a site, a site called index.html then we save then go to our site and refresh then, then click you see you see now it has taken us to another site called index here it is showing you that it has redirected to index. Dot uh, HTML you can go back therefore this is a hyperlink you click it takes you to to another site therefore that's how you you do the hyperlink uh, that is this one a hyperlink using HTML you just uh, do the hyperlink on that you can still do a hyperlink on a, uh, on an image like for example uh, we copy this 
control C then uh, paste it here then uh, you can go to this image here we copy this then we replace replace this one you want our uh, link to take us to an image that way for this one will be uh, gone to to my image the logo then I save okay can I move this there were two then we can proceed to our site and refresh if you can see we have two links go to our image there we are you see it has taken us to our image that is uh, creating a hampering uh, to an image and also the other one is creating a hampering into our UAR then you can also create an image to that is a uh, hampering to an email so that will take you to an email therefore for this one uh, we can uh, first of all have these ones as uh, uh, heading three just to, to have them then we can cross our heading three to avoid them being very big then we break okay we can also now have another one we can break Break is to go to the next line, and therefore, we can just have yeah, I'll copy this one. Now, we want to have a hyperlink to an email address, therefore, this one will be go to my email address. Therefore, then you put now the, the, the your email address here. should be our UAR now this is our UAR to an email address which probably will not work because you are not connected to the internet therefore this looks like this I have I made them to break and therefore uh, you see now there there is no uh, internet connection but sometimes you can use mail to I explain that in another setting therefore that's how you, you actually uh, do the hyperlinks then uh, we can proceed to uh, forms we look at how you create forms therefore uh, we can go to forms see how we can do forms in uh, HTML therefore forms when you talk about a form a form a form is actually a graphical user interface that uh, can be used to capture some data you may you may need to capture some data in a form like uh, you may need to have the first name uh, the second name search using a form therefore let's do a form for student capture if we just uh, go uh, down here after the video we then have um, our student capture form we start by writing we can just place our form somewhere we want to place our form just here in the body to start with Therefore, when you want to insert a form, you start by writing the form tag, form that way. Therefore, you write form. Then once you write form, um, you can now proceed 
to creating the form like now I want to have my first name if I shall have the first the first name or the first name then the first name I can put a break to make sure the button goes to the next to the next page break then uh, we introduce a tag called input uh, input therefore in input type equals to text box a text box is drawn by the word text therefore text then the name to be referred to uh, equals to equals to first name or just f name first name then uh, the value uh, the value the name we want to appear inside there the value you can just leave it blank and then this field cannot be left without field therefore you write required 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 to make sure that uh, it is not left blank then you break then we go to the next one the next one is uh, uh, rust name rust name uh, rust name then you break now once you break uh, you type this again if we just copy this exactly the way it is control C we are copying control V but this one will be rust name error name that we are name it's also required um, then uh, after doing that one you can uh, do the, uh, the the submit button submit button therefore the submit button uh, is just that input type equals to the value it equals to submit submit value value equals to submit that way then you cross your form you cross your form that way then you save this one and let's see what we have so far just go to uh, this one and refresh therefore you can see we have a form we have created a form with the first name and um, when you go to submit it will tell you please fill out this sheet because of the the word required the word that we have uh, actually uh, inserted there required that's the the name that is the the tag that is actually making it uh, not you cannot leave it blank you have to fill this field therefore if I fill this and try to submit then it goes to the next one telling me that you have to fill uh, you have to fill this field therefore that's how you create uh, you insert a uh, uh, a form but you can still go on and put more controls on our form for us go still to our form uh, and continue uh, you can still add something like a river comment river comment then we break once we break that way then we shall introduce something called text area text area then we, we can cross the text area text area then we can write here type you are comment here then calls calls this is the columns 
we can have five five columns and five rows rows equals to equals to five 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 that way then uh, can make this board by assigning b tag and we also cross it here cross b that way then uh, we can uh, we can do that one before you can see we have somewhere you can uh, type your your comment this is use of text area then you can still carry on and do another one uh, still more controls on our forms columns columns can have 20 therefore you can still do another one we do break here break then we can go and choose your level of education choose your level of education then um, we can have break we can have this one being strong strong is bold up to this point we need that statement to be strong whatever you open you must cross then down here we shall have uh, another another code another on another um, we shall have another tag called select select then uh, it is followed by first of all we cross it select then we shall have option therefore our option is can start with the highest masters then we, we again write option uh, degree then another op option option we have diploma then uh, we can have the other option certificate that way then we cross the the that is we cross the tag it is also important uh, to cross the, the the tag here option you can cross that one copy this then paste it that way now after doing that let's see what we have uh, we can just refresh this one therefore you see what we have therefore you see now I can choose um, level of education degree can choose diploma uh, that way therefore this is how you create a HTML form therefore you can also include another one you want to know whether somebody is female or male therefore you can include another one here then have board then we cross we cross the board and we have choose your agenda choose your agenda then we break break to go to the next line then we break and here we include another option input type equals to radio button radio then uh, value okay, you can just leave it that way goes to radio now the first thing here this one will be male then uh, you can copy this p 
paste it here now this becomes female this is female then uh, the name can be this is f value equals to Then this one name equals to mir value equals to m mir that way therefore we can also see how what that one does we go just go and refresh therefore you can see male female you cannot choose both this is the radio button okay let's uh, avoid the uh, we need to make sure that only the one is uh, chosen therefore we can first of all refresh this before you choose on one of the buttons can only choose at once therefore this is the radio buttons then uh, we can do the check box here down here we have board uh, that is black then you can have choose your your residence is your residence mode then we can have port then uh, we shall have now number one is boarding boarding our second one is Then uh, uh, at, at this point, we, we introduce the input again. Input type type equals to check box. Then we copy this. We also paste it here. That way. Then introduce board here. Board. and that is a break therefore you can see what we have so far just go to this point and refresh refresh therefore you can see now we have a created checkbox where you can tick uh, the mode of that is the mode of uh, boarding okay, I want to be a border and a score at the same time or I can just be a border or a discorder Therefore, uh, this is how you come up with the forms. Therefore, for more for more uh, codes, uh, for, for more tags, that is, for more tags on how to create a form uh, in HTML, you can visit uh, my website uh, for more guidelines on how to do the HTML. Uh, then, we also need to look at uh, our last part of the HTML course that is the crash program for that is frames how you can uh, create therefore to create frames to create frames you start the HTML document therefore document type is HTML that is our document type is HTML that way then uh, uh, you start by typing the the frame set though frame set uh, though frames are obsolete uh, as you run more you notice that uh, we rarely use them nowadays but uh, 
we need to look at them for our course purposes therefore you just go to to this point you can have uh, asterisk those are the portions I need one two three four I need four portions then um, the next thing you need to have the frame set the the, the that is the the URL where you are getting your frame from therefore frame frame source frame source equals to equals to uh, the page you need as a frame you shall put it there then uh, uh, you can have several of them like now you can just have to, to terminate the frame the frame set then uh, we can terminate our HTML HTML but we're there for here you can have several uh, that is frame frame source one you can copy that when you can have another frame set for example you need to have two frame sets therefore here we can have the index the index dot html that was our page then um, I can check the address of the other one this one this one this one is the address for this one is this one it is cross across this one we don't need that one we go to the address of this one now we paste it here the address is my first site.html and this one will open inside therefore we can save our file our frames we can call it frames our frames dot html then we save it as all files then save you save therefore uh, this is how you start a frame therefore frame set is the tag you write frame frame set calls these are the columns then uh, we don't need this then you, you write these are subdivisions that uh, uh, will appear separated by comma then you cross the frame set uh, just we have like, like we have done then we can now go and round and see what we have first just go to where our folder is uh, this is our folder then you shall see frames we right click and uh, open this one uh, using our chrome therefore you see uh, what we call frames therefore we have the flames we have created our flames this is our flame number one it contains uh, index 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 is this page then there we have this other flame it contains our website the website that we have created together then we, we shall have four four sites the remaining part should also be divided into two because we have actually uh, given our site uh, four that is four portions therefore if we go ahead and uh, include another and include another site like now we can just create another site very fast just go to to this one this one we copy this you can copy that one copy then we paste it uh, to this one here then you can give it you can give it heading one heading two then save this one here as new dot html then now we can call it all files that way now we have that one then we now go to our, our we go to our original notepad 
and uh, notepad is frames you right click then you just uh, open with edit with so that you can now edit now we edit by by copying this frame copy we are now including adding the third frame our third frame is our third frame is equals to equals to new dot html then you save that one then uh, we can cross this cross that one then go and open our frames go to our sites and open our frames you'll get that now it, it should have four it has one two three four therefore the right three. then the one the other one is empty it is blank therefore that's how you uh, do the flames that's how you do the flames and uh, according to our course that is according to our diploma DCIT course syllabus we have uh, covered HTML HTML structure tags how to insert music audio video hyperlinks tables that is uh, frames and uh, forms therefore uh, next is uh, we shall check on how to create tables now tables a table is a receptacle of columns and rows to create a table uh, we can launch notepad that is our text editor then we redirect where we want to save it file save us now i want to save it in a folder called html tables then we can call it um, my hot tables dot ht uh, html that way then, then i can just click on save then uh, i need to type my code here you start by typing the table code for table you can just type table then you can give order okay this time round i'm using notepad plus plus so that you can also have a test i previously used a normal tpad windows tip uh, uh to notepad that is tables uh notepad but i want to use notepad plus plus so that you can also have a test and see this is even better and I can advise you to use Notepad++ or Sublime Text because they offer the auto fill. Therefore, table border you can give uh, give it to something like uh, two. Then uh, you can have the the style or width. You can give the width of the table to fifty percent. And from there, we needed to start typing our table. We introduce a tag called th, that is the um, table header. Then uh, our table heading, we shall have the admission number. Admission number, then we close that one. Uh, you can close that one as th. Th. Now you can see the importance of this one, which is uh, showing you when you cross. Then I can also uh, paste that one down here. You can also paste it again and uh, paste it uh, again once that way. Then we change this one. Then we can have uh, student name. Then you can have uh, the class and uh, the course, the course the student is taking. Uh, then, and now after having this one, we save. And uh, then once we save, we can see what we have in our browser. And we just go to our table. Then double click our file see what we have now this is what we have so far now we have created the headings admission number uh, that is we have also created student name class and course 
Okay, for us go back again to our code. This can be stu student name class and course. Then from here we introduce a tag called Teboro, Teboro TR. Now this one will now help us to insert data into the table. Then I also in, in, introduce another one called uh, uh, that is Teboro. Therefore I have introduced reduced Teboro. Then now I want to introduce table data TD. That is TD table data. Therefore, our table data for the first admission number will be 7070. Then you also cross the the TD. The TD. Now this one is for the first row. This one is for goes for this. Therefore, the second one, the third one, they go uh, in that manner. Therefore, we can have four of them. Therefore, for this one, this is uh, 7070. Then we shall have done, done we check. Then we shall have uh, in year two. Then taking MSc computer systems that way. Then we save Control S. Then we go back to our browser. We browse. See now what has happened. We have inserted the first. Uh, we have inserted the first. That is the first person using the code. Then uh, we can proceed. Go back and insert the second person. Therefore, you only need now to, to first of all cross the tag. That is row number one. The R we have crossed, and therefore you can see the importance of not pad plus plus. When I cross this, when I click this one, it will show me whether I have crossed. You see, it is showing you. Therefore, you can automatically know which one you didn't cross. Therefore, I copy this. Then I paste it. Control V down here. Therefore, I can go to the next guy, the next person, and then have this one as. James Connors. Then uh, this guy is in fourth year and taking BSc IT that way. Therefore, you proceed uh, copying this again, then uh, paste it down here. We can have this the other person. Then this one is in year one. Taking Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of uh, Education Science. Therefore, after doing so, you now uh, go to run your code, refresh. Therefore, you can see we are still moving on well, that um, you have not so far uh, inserted uh, the data in the tables. And uh, that one now uh, is a very good indication of how we create tables uh, in HTML. But you may also need to put some color. Therefore, you can just include the BG color. The BG color equals to orange. That way, then you save. So you can see how I've written that code. Uh, background color. Background color is equals to orange. If you need a larger table to occupy the whole space, then you can put 100% there. Then save. Uh, once you save, you go to our browser and refresh. Therefore, you can see what we have. We have created uh, a table. And also, uh, we have actually uh, inserted the background uh, car. Therefore, there is this very strong website, W w3 schools the one that i'm actually referring to therefore for more and more of your 
web design, you can use w3schools.com. You can also visit my website for queries, uh, for more queries on uh, web design, and that is actually HTML. And therefore, thank you very much for watching my tutorial video on HTML based on the DICT syllabus of Kenya NEC, that is Kenya National Examination Council. And uh, that is how you tackle HTML. That's how you launch HTML. You put the codes, that's the tags. We agreed we call them the tags. You cross the tags using the angle brackets. You also insert hyperlinks. You can insert music, audio, video. You can insert images. You can also insert colors. You can format using the tags like strong, bold, P for paragraph. You can insert comments and uh, uh, frames, just like we have, we have um, uh, looked at how to insert the, uh, the frames. Um, that is, we have looked at the frames and uh, some other things that we, uh, we have actually uh, looked at. Therefore, basically that's how the course entails. In my next video, I will be taking you through JavaScript. Therefore, keep on uh, checking on my videos. Therefore, on our next video will be JavaScript. Therefore, I will take you through how JavaScript works based on the uh, DICT syllabus of Kenya Nation Examination Council. Therefore, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Share, like my videos.